Okay, welcome back to uh, Let's Play of, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, the Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. This is my first run through of this game. I have no other characters of it on this game at all. Just my pale elf here, whose name was created by taking a 30-sided die marked with the letters of the alphabet and the words Wild and Val, and creating a name off that. So that's where you get the name. Oh. Exezel. Yes. Certainly. Yes. Okay. We are now going looking for things called spore lanes. You can retrain it from first level through any in interface. The cost to retrain the character increases with level. That's good to know. I'm pretty sure you can't change class though. How big is this? This is a relatively Certainly. small map. Sporly. It looks like a Myconid. They look very much like Myconids. Oh, uh, that was a very, very large dink spore. Let's hope it doesn't move. It's coming to us. Here we go. It moved to knock us down. It succeeded. I took a lot of endurance for that. that. My health has gotten yellow. Hmm? Dink spores. Certainly. Hi? Okay. Um. Right click for details. So I have max constant endurance. Okay. We are going to eat. I should probably look into using some of this to make some of those recipes since I think those recipes are more effective. Is there anything I can do crafting wise? I can make a potion of Eldritch Aim. Interesting. And a potion of Fleet Feet. Also interesting. Anything level 2? Nope. Level three? Nope. I don't have enough for everything else. Okay. Oh, uh, I... Wait, don't I have meat? I do have meat. So, crafting. I should have enough. Plus ten max endurance, plus one dexterity, plus one perception. Plus two might. Be beef loaf? Stew. Craft. Okay, we crafted stew. Okay. We're going to get that. Okay. You are going to get that. Okay, we are going to Oh that Yes that Hey that What? Oh that Hmm Okay Hmm There. This should be good. I got one. And the cleric is... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Our one of our is, uh, is was 
temporarily against us. Okay, you... I can't add that to right now, so I am going to ask you... Oh, you... Yeah. Did it just get quieter? Yes, it did. Clear it went down. Let us end this! And... Oh, it does confusion. Uh-oh, when a character's health bar begins flashing red, it's a sign they may soon be maimed or killed. Rest at an inn or use camping supplies to fully restore health. I can't. Uh-oh. Okay. Health reaches air to... to Character will be either main. A main character suffers severe combat penalties on die if take additional damage. Killed characters are just dead, and in milk colors of eternity, there's no coming back. Okay. You, please have something on hand. There we go. Ah. Kill it. Hey. <laughs> You're confused. You? Please, 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 please kill it. Hi? Hey. No, You're confused again. Come on. Come on. <laughs> You are confused again. Yes. I imagine you're not very good against fire. You're confused again. Hey. But not anymore. You're both confused. How may I help? These ones are in for a whopping! There we go. Hmm? Defender. Ezekiel, are you still maimed? Well, up to full hip. Okay. Certainly. There's a person here. Dead adventurer. He had a walk pick and some copper. Another dead adventurer. There is a arbalest in here. There is a lot of stuff in here. Dark dank spores. Cave coral. Moss and mold cover the bones like a blanket. They smell earthy and wet. Cave. Hmm? Already got that. Okay. We're going to leave. I don't have camping supplies. So I've got to hope I don't run into any random encounters along the way. We're gonna make a shot straight for the uh, inn. I'm probably gonna have to sell a lot of these weapons that are in my stash. Here we go. Hail traveler. Careful with the sporlings; they have a way with the mind. It's why the spores are so useful, really. You could have. Stuff to begin with. I have some spores here. So you do. Excellent. Give one here and I'll add it to the cauldron. If I had talked to her, she would have told me beforehand. 
This should not take long. Make sure it's ready. Take this to offer it. Tell her to drink it before bed as it induces sleep. She should find herself more energetic in the mornings. Tell her to eat more fish and cheese. The potion will sustain a healthy appetite. Grant her strength. She's a rather frail, frail woman, from what I remember of her. I thought this was a cure. I can tend to ailments of the body. I cannot cure an affliction of the soul. Certainly not one inflicted by the gods. I have explained many times people will believe what they want. So let her believe. Perhaps that will help. Faith is a powerful thing. In the meantime, she will feel much improved. If her child should not be claimed by the legacy, then it will be born healthy. That I will promise. You're nothing but a charlatan. Nonsense. I am many years now a midwife. What I am not is a worker of impossible miracles. If you want to do something about the legacy, I tell you this. Better to deal with Lord Raedric. It is his punishment which drives these women to me. I have done what I can as promised. Till offer, I wish her well. Okay. 480 XP, which gets split up between the party. We're now at a party of four, so we're not getting as much experience as we used to. And we can't rest because we have no camping supplies. Okay. Anything here we can see? This is another crab small fish custer in this tide this pool left by the tide. Okay, let's go here. Go to Megan. Oh, oh. Okay. I probably could have gone straight to Gilded Fort, Gilded Vale. Oh well. We'll see if I can do that real quick. So if the central HUD in the combat log can be minimized if you wish to explore the world with only character portraits visible. Good to know. What is this? That is... Let's go straight there. You'll take you four hours. Gold nameplates were designed by our backers. Interacting with them will allow you to experience each one's unique history. See, that's the vibrant history that you run across every once in a while. They're not NPCs you can hire. They're backer. They're NPCs created by backers. That's cool. I wish I had known about this when it was coming out. It would have been interesting. Okay, first things first, we're going to the inn. Hugo and Ronan. Okay, those are... Those are NPC, those are uh, backer NPCs, which are interesting, but I'll come back to them later. going to rent a expensive Welcome. room. I'd like to hire a room, please. Deerwood's Pride. And actually, let's empty some of the stash. Whole lot of stuff. Wizard might be interested in that. We'll have to see. No, that's two handed. I'll keep it. It's fine. What is that? The club. Great sword. Can 
another wizard thing. Zaw Rip Order Staff. Two hands. See how much of this we can get rid of. See what you have for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep that. Small shield. What was that? Huh. Still adding stuff. I probably should keep some ranged weapons, but I never really use ranged weapons much in this type of game. There we go. Armor, consumables. Well, that's pretty nice. Savory pie. I can make that. Minor regeneration, plus 50 endurance. Nothing that require repairs. Oh, you have ingredients. Okay. You have enough. Barely. Okay. Put this in the consumables. We don't actually we had about half we had about twice as much as we needed. Okay. Two handed fast whoa, two handed fast it is roughly the same. Rod is a little bit better than what you already have. Wand two handed is about the same. Crush pierce. So we'll do that. Okay, let's go talk to Opera. Speaking of which, I need to work on the Wizards for more. Now let's go look at these two, Ronin and 
few go. They were over here. Somewhere. You were right over here somewhere. There you are. You see a group of people standing around a wagon, transfixed on a sword and swings in a large, graceful arc. This man holds the sword, passing it from hand to hand with relaxed ease, making the blade dance in front of his audience. He tosses it into the air, spins, then puts his arms behind his back to catch it. The crowd claps excitedly, and a couple of them gasp, certain they are about to see a tragedy. As you near vibrant history, you feel vibrant history. You see a room, bright, warm, covered in greenery. There isn't a spot in the entire space that doesn't have some kind of plant growing in it. Small germinating seeds in the corner here, large sprawling vines climbing the walls there. Although most of the plants are actually in some kind of container, there are a few that have grown from the dirt floor itself. These are just as lovingly cared for as anything else in the room. The man wanders through the plants, smiling at each and every one, an old pipe clenched between his teeth. Stopping next to one, he touches a leaf, lifting it up to look at the underside, and gently rubs it between his fingers. He takes a small handful of the soil it grows in and crushes it with his fingers. Satisfied, he drops the soil back into the pot and continues to the next plant. He hums a low, cheery tune as he moves among the plants, occasionally stopping to sing a few words of something to one of them. Finally, he reaches the door. Having visited every plant in the room, he turns back to look at them, a look of serene pleasure on his face. Then he turns back and is gone. Why are you doing here if you had such a fit place? Interesting. Let's go talk to Altra and give her the bad news. You see a pennant waving sluggish of wind. Oh, this is a, I've already read his. You're the young god born. Godly, whatever you call it. Godlike. Bloody tree. Well met, friend. Yes, I have it. Here it is. You really did it. Bless you, I don't know what I could have done without you. Now my baby will be safe. I can't thank you enough. Wait, you should know something about that potion. What do you mean? It doesn't do what you think. Ranga says it'll make you feel better, but that's it. But that's... But everyone said I should have known I've been so stupid. How could I think? I'm sorry I wasted your time. You don't know that your child will meet the same fate. Perhaps this is best left to chance. You're right. I shouldn't have turned to such methods. There may be a still another way. I won't take the potion, but thank you all the same for acquiring it for me. Here, take this. <coughs> Excuse me. You can keep what remains of Ranga's payment, too, and take this as well. It was Hawthorne's. I've been holding on to it, but I think it will do you more good. Minor Cloak of Protection. All I can do now is pray. Perhaps the gods will be kind. Mother's plea. We gained some experience for that. Not enough to level. Oh, hey, you're getting close. Okay. You have gained reputation with Gilded Veil. Moderate. Okay. That was my timer going off. I'm going to save, and it's getting late for me, so I think that'll be it for now. We'll do this as a new save. Anyway, always save options. No. Okay.
see you later.